This is the Cummins L10, the engine that roared through the late 80s and early 90s, pulling America's freight and building its legend, one mile at a time. But here's the million-dollar question. Why did Cummins stop making the L10? Why would they kill off an engine trusted by fleets, loved by mechanics, and remembered by drivers even today? Stick around, because the story behind the Cummins L10 is more than just horsepower and torque. It's about a shift in diesel history. Now, before we get into why it was discontinued, let's talk about what made this beast unforgettable. Released in 1983, the Cummins L10 was a straight six, 10 liter diesel workhorse that bridged the gap between medium and heavy duty applications. It wasn't just an engine. It was a reliable mid-range monster that delivered performance without the bulk of its bigger siblings. Let's talk specs. Displacement, 10.0 liters. Configuration, inline six, turbocharged horsepower, range from 240 to 315 HP, depending on the variant. Torque, between 800 to 1,050 pound-feet fuel system. Mechanical injection in earlier models, later upgraded to select electronic control. Now here's something you don't hear every day. The L10 wasn't designed to be flashy. It was designed to run, and run, and keep running. It found a home in Class 7 and smaller Class 8 trucks, buses, refuse haulers, and even off-highway machines. Peterbilt 379s, Freightliners, Internationals, the L10 powered them all. But here's the twist. Despite its reputation for reliability and low-end torque, Cummins made a bold decision in the late 90s. They phased out the L10. Why? Here's where the story changes gears. Quick question. What do a fax machine, a flip phone, and the Cummins L10 have in common? They were all great until the world moved on. Let's break it down. The trucking industry was evolving. Emissions regulations were tightening. Fuel efficiency was becoming more critical, and the competition wasn't sleeping. Cummins knew they had to adapt. So, in 1998, they replaced the L10 with the M11, a more refined, electronically controlled, emissions-ready upgrade. The M11 delivered higher torque, better fuel economy, and was built with the future in mind. The L10, on the other hand, wasn't originally designed to meet the incoming EPA emissions standards of the early 2000s. And let's not forget, the L10, while reliable, had limitations. It didn't scale well for high output applications, and as engine technology modernized, its mechanical roots became a weakness rather than a strength. Cummins wasn't just ending the L10, they were clearing the road for the future. But here's the kicker. While the L10 officially died in 1998, it never truly went away. Rebranded, modified, and carried forward, you might be shocked to learn what modern engine still shares its DNA. We'll get to that in just a second. But first, one last look at why the L10 still matters. Ask any veteran diesel tech, and they'll tell you. The L10 was a mechanics engine, simple, reliable, built to last. Today, parts of its architecture live on in the Cummins ISM, the spiritual successor to the L10. In fact, some older buses and construction equipment still run L10 blocks rebuilt with modern parts. It's a reminder that not all legends retire. Some evolve. So the next time you hear that deep Cummins growl from a 90s-era workhorse, ask yourself, is that just a diesel engine? Or is that the ghost of the L10 still earning its keep? Like this kind of diesel history? Hit that like button. Subscribe for more faceless deep dives into the engines that moved America. This was Drive Time. Thanks for riding with us.